Happy Tuesday. Good afternoon, everyone. I can tell you that the First Lady is experiencing mild symptoms and will remain in Delaware for the week. President Biden tested negative last night for COVID-19 and tested negative again today. He's not experiencing any symptoms. As far as the steps he is taking, since the president was with the First Lady yesterday, he will be masking while indoors and around people in alignment with CDC guidance. And he, as, as has been the practice in the past, the president will remove his mask when sufficiently distanced from others indoors and while outside as well. The CDC guidelines recommend a combination of masking, testing, and monitoring for symptoms. The president is doing all of that in, con in close consultation with his physician. We will be encouraging, as I have said before, Americans to get their updated COVID-19 vaccine. There are currently no updates to the White House COVID-19 protocols. We continue to work closely with public health and medical professionals to monitor the virus. We're in our strongest position yet to fight COVID-19 and the viruses responsible for majority of fall and winter hospitalizations. As we head into the fall, we have more tools and systems available today to help communities this fall and winter season, including safe updated vaccines that will be available mid-September. Given what we know about how COVID works, I understand the president is negative now, but are you planning for any contingencies in case he does test positive in the coming days or, or during the trip? Could he attend any of these meetings virtually? Are you thinking ahead to that? I'll let Co uh, Kareen speak to COVID planning here at the White House uh, as it's beyond my ken, but of course we have long experience now from the early days of the administration uh, in managing uh, for situations in which uh, COVID plays a role in summits. And, um, you know, we've seen various leaders at various times participate virtually in events. But in terms of specific contingency planning here from the White House, Kareem can speak to that. Yeah, if President Biden does test positive for COVID in the coming days, we can assume he's not going to travel to India. I'm just not going to get into hypotheticals. I'm really not. There's no updates to his uh, to his schedule. That's where we are right now. He tested negative last night. He tested negative today. That's what matters. He's not having any symptoms. I'm just not going to get into hypotheticals. The COVID protocols yes. for the president, is he going to test every day before he gets on the plane? Does he have to mask when he's in India? I think there are not, um, I think the protocols for the G20 are that they're really not. Uh, so what I can tell you is that the president certainly is going to uh, test on a regular cadence determined by his physician. Of course, all travelers, all travelers, including the president, will test uh, before traveling to India. So that is uh, certainly something that the president uh, will do. Uh, as I mentioned, um, uh, the CDC is following CDC guidelines. The CDC does not uh, recommend testing every day after a close contact. That is their recommendation. Again, we are going to follow the CDC guidelines. Uh, they recommend a combination of things, as I mentioned at the top, which is masking, testing, and monitoring for symptoms. He has no symptoms. Uh, so, uh, and so we're going to continue to uh, follow those guidelines, have those, cl he's going to have those co close consultation uh, with his, his physician, and that's all I can share at this time. Can you be more so, there you go. Yeah. Just a couple more logistical COVID yeah. questions. Are these PCR tests?